Hi everyone, welcome to Aptitude Class Guru. In this video, I am going to discuss about very good news for the 2021 passed out batch. Those who are eagerly waiting for the TCS recruitment. So TCS recently announced the TCS hiring process for the TCS digital on-campus drive. This TCS digital on-campus drive is for some specific colleges and they are going to conduct TCS digital recruitment test on the dates of 3rd and 4th of the October 2020. Why have said it is a good news for us? This is the campus on campus drive which are limited to specific colleges. But the actual good news is every year TCS conduct code beta first. After one month of the duration, they will announce the TCS digital recruitment and after one month to one and a half month, they will announce the recruitment process of the TCS NQT, National Qualifier Test which all the colleges across the India are eligible. So we are already entered into the TCS digital recruitment zone. So within few days, we can expect the TCS national qualifier test examination also. Just look at the TCS digital syllabus pattern and how we can qualify the TCS NQT through code beta as well as TCS national qualifier test. We'll see in this video. So without any delay, Let's get started. TCS visits which type of colleges? TCS visits 100 premium colleges based on the NIRF ranking 2020. So this year, our government has ranked some colleges through NIRF framework. TCS only visits those 100 colleges for digital recruitment process. So please check out whether your college is NIRF officially ranked college or not for this year and appear for the TCS digital drive. When coming to the TCS digital package, they offers 7 lakhs per annum. TCS digital opportunity is very challenging job role as well as its package is also very high. So, so many people were interested in TCS digital but they don't have an opportunity that my college is not an of a ranked college. Can we go for the TCS digital job role? Yes, there are two different paths you can select for the TCS digital. The first path is TCS code beta. In the last year, the TCS hired around 2500 plus students through the code beta. Most of the offers was digital offers. They can offer you the job in the category of TCS digital. And the second one is TCS NQT. If you score top 10% in the TCS NQT, you have an opportunity to appear for both the ninja and digital interviews. So these two paths are available for you if your college is not ranked under the NIRF this year. And how you have to apply? Just student have to register and fill up the application form on the TCS Next Step portal if you are not already registered. So your status should be application received. Okay, this is very much important for the test process and on the October 3rd and 4th, the TCS will conduct the exam on your college. When coming to the TCS digital job role, it's very challenging and it's very advanced level technology you are going to learn in this job category. TCS digital highest for the digital technology domains which are specialized in technologies such as IoT, Internet of Things, A, Artificial Intelligence, ML, Big Data, Virtual Reality, Blockchain, NLP and so on. So you are entering into the advanced level technologies when compared to the remaining job roles. And when coming to the recruitment process, the recruitment process of the TCS digital is first one written test followed by technical interview and again followed by HR interview and the technical interview will be conducted for around 35 minutes to 45 minutes and for HR interview, they will conduct around 20 minutes to 25 minutes in the TCS digital. When you are comparing with TCS NQT Ninja interviews, technical round approximately from 15 to 20 minutes and HR round will be 10 to 15 minutes. So in order to analyze you a lot and how you are familiar with the coding and how proficient in the language, in order to know all those things, they will test you more time in these two interview rounds. And TCA digital new pattern was given like part A consists of English 10 questions and they will give you 10 minutes of time and again in the part A there is another category that quantitative aptitude 
consists of 20 questions and they are providing 40 minutes for the 20 questions. And part B is the advanced coding. They will give you one coding question and you have to code that question in the 60 minutes time. And they are allowing you the languages C, C++, Java, Perl and Python. So which language you are familiar with a lot, then go for that language. When coming to the syllabus of the each and every category, when coming to the English, they are going to test you on grammar, closed test, synonyms and antonyms and reading comprehensions. When coming to the quantity aptitude, there are several categories they are going to test. So just take the screenshot of the quantity aptitude topics, which I have showed in the video right now. So prepare according to that. When coming to the advanced coding, in advanced coding, they will give you one question and the question will be like competitive coding methodology. They don't want to go for dynamic programming. So try to practice competitive coding problems a lot in order to crack the TCS digital written test. When coming to the platform, they are using TCS is using the TCS ion platform, which is very familiar to all of you. Why? Because TCS ion platform is used for a lot of IAEEE examinations, IIT examinations and government sectors like banks, railways, SSC, all the government sector area examination are conducting on TCS ION platform. So TCS digital also connecting on the platform of TCS ION. There is a need to marking for MCQ based questions, multiple choice questions. So there is no need to marking for FUB questions. You already know that FUB is nothing but fill up the boxes questions. There is no need to marking for FUB questions. The only negative marking is allowed for MCQ based questions and negative marking is one third. When coming to FUB questions, each question carries two marks and there is no negative marking in it. And they are also providing you on screen calculator you can use to solve the written test problems. So this is a good thing. So according to the opportunity of the on screen calculator, practice yourself to crack the TCS digital easily so this is the thesis digital syllabus and registration all those things so try to practice from now onwards for the tcs nqt also why because after one month of the code beta tcs digital was announced for their recruitment so in my guess within the 40 days the tcs nqt will be announced and the gap between tcs digital and tcs NQT will be hardly from 30 days to 40 days such that according to that we have one and a half month to two months time. So you have to start your preparation for the TCS NQT also. And in our channel, we'll definitely do the videos on the TCS digital NQT level problems on our channel. So please subscribe our channel to get more videos for more updates. Thank you everyone. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel to get TCS related updated videos immediately to you. Thank you.